let's perfect our form on the kneeling single leg squat. This one is super great. It's kind of like the lateral lunge. It's different than your traditional squat and deadlift and leg work, um, but it works your glutes and legs really, really well. So the key to doing this is you go down on one knee. That one knee is gonna be doing all the work. This other leg is only gonna be here because it has to be similar to that lateral lunge that we talked about earlier. So when you're on that kneeling leg, the other leg is straight out and you're on the inside edge of it, like kind of literally your foot is sideways onto your mat. That foot is facing forward and this back foot, your toes are flat against the ground like this. All right, so from the front, it looks a little like this for starters. When you squat on down, you wanna think of not hinging. This isn't a good morning, which you also can do a single good morning this way, but we're squatting here. So we're gonna bring our glutes down, our chest stays up and proud, our back is nice and flat, and we sit onto that heel. You'll feel everything kind of stretched in this leg that's doing the work. So you're kind of going to end up going onto your heel of this other foot, but you kind of just let it do whatever because honestly, all your weight is in this leg and this leg is just kind of coming along for the ride. So as we squat into this one, then you press using your quads, you press straight up and you squeeze that glute and you'll feel it right away in that glute in that um, hamstring as well. So you're sitting on down and pressing right up really building that strength. You'll feel it really great in those quads and squeezing those glutes at the top as if you're trying to bring your glutes and your, and your um, hamstrings closer together. So from the side, I'll show you if I have enough room here. So again, you're, all your weight's in that kneeling leg. The other leg's just straight out because it has to be. And you're gonna squat on down onto that heel, back is nice and flat, chest is up and proud, and then we're gonna press straight up. And I'm gonna squeeze that glute and you can, you'll feel it like literally on that under crack of your butt, whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> um, you'll feel it like squeezing right here. And once you start adding weight to this, I'll show you, you can add weight to your back and that just adds resistance. So it's a little more difficult to bring it up, but you'll really feel this. And you'll feel this on your inner thigh of that other leg because it's stretching and coming together um, on the movement. So that's that. Good morning version of this would be same position, but you're bending forward, that chest is falling and those glutes are being sent back, but they're not necessarily touching that heel. And then you're squeezing your glutes to stand straight up again. All right. So one last time without a weight, I'll show you with the other leg. So say we're kneeling on this leg, the other leg is straight out and we're gonna squat into that front leg, that chest and those hips stay facing forward. Like you don't wanna be facing sideways and like going like that. You really wanna stay nice and straight. So you send that booty to that heel and you press right up. And the best way to do this to really build that muscle is you go slow on the way down. Once you touch that booty, even touch it, quick on the pull up and you squeeze that booty. I keep saying booty, I really need to find a better word. You squeeze your glutes. <laughs> and you press up. So slow on the down, as soon as you touch that power up. And that way you'll really feel it in the front of your leg. And then you'll also feel it squeezing there in the back, that lower glue where it meets your um, thigh, your hamstring. I don't know why I keep saying thigh. I guess it is technically your thigh, but proper term, it's your hamstring. So that's that. So there you go, you got two for one. You got the single leg squat and the single leg good morning. So add weight um, if you're ready to add resistance. It's a great way to step it up, but first of all, start with no weight, step it up after that. 
um, and that's pretty much the move. So if that helps, let me know. If you have any additional questions, leave it down below and I'll go ahead and answer those and I'll see you in the next perfect form.